Hey guys, we're here with uh, Michael Safel. So I think you all just got the word an hour or so ago. Uh, he is medically retiring from football, but we wanted to, you to be able to ask him yourself some questions So, and hear from Mike himself. So we'll go ahead if you need to chat. If you'd like a question for Mike, let us know in the chat and I'll call upon you. We'll start with David Bush from Bear Insider. Hello, Michael. Um, I just did the timing of this. Was it something that just happened that caused you to make this decision or is it something that's been building up? Just kind of walk us through that a little bit. Yeah, you know, uh, the first signs of this energy, uh, injury was in 2020 and uh, I had to fight back to get back to there, um, believe it or not, just get back to the 2020 season. Uh, and then had, uh, was healthy for 2020 and healthy into the spring and then um, had a, had another little issue with it, and um, this time it was maybe a little bit more significant, and um, kind of went all over to get the support I needed. Um, took it to the limit, found every person that I could ever need to to help me make the decision, give me the right information, and that kind of led us to the decision today. So it's definitely been one that's building for a while, and uh, but once we had the the right information on it, uh, it was the right time to pull the trigger. Is it the same injury that's been recurring or is it different parts? It's been the same injury that's reoccurring. You know, I've had a lot of injuries over my career. Right. Um, you know, I've had ankles and knees and every, you, you name it, I've had it. Um, and I've struggled through them all and got back and always had the support I need. This one's a little bit more significant. And, uh, you know, it's been a battle the last two years. I'll just keep it at that. It's been a real battle and a real fight, both mentally and physically to get back. And I've been doing it because I love this team and I freaking love Cal football and I love you guys and being part of it. And uh, there's no better place in the entire world. I know that. So I would give everything to do it. But uh, we got the final information um, from the doctors and the trainers. And um, once I had all the information in front of me, uh, it became a little bit more uh, of an easy decision. OK, thanks. Thank you, David. OK, we'll move to Jake Curtis from um, Cal Sports Report. Yeah, Mike, could you specify which injury it is? Was it the ankle or the knee that that, that caused the ultimate? Yeah, I've, I've had a back injury. Uh, in 2020, I had a back injury that happened, and I had to get surgery on it um, just in order to play for 2020. And uh, as you might imagine, um, I rushed it back because I've kind of done a lot of that stuff in my career and fought to get back and fought to be there for the team, and I didn't want to miss it in 2020 at all. And, um, you know, that kind of that kind of led to the to the next episode of what happened. And, um, you know, the great thing is I caught it in time to get pain free and healthy and, um, you know, to move on to the next step in the right way. You know, a, a lot of guys go through back injuries and, um, you know, especially in the NFL, they can they can become debilitating at times. And, um, you know, I didn't get to that point, luckily, and I caught it in the nick of time to get pain free. And, uh, you know, there was a high cost to come back on this one. And uh, that that made the decision a little bit a little bit easier. High cost. I mean, was it was there danger of some kind of permanent problems if you continued? <clears throat> I mean, as you can imagine, I don't really want to specify what exactly was going on um, and what, you know, the long term medical conditions are going to be. But um, there was uh, I'll, I'll keep it at high risk, um, as you know, in the NFL, a lot of. A lot of careers get ended by this one, and um, it is a tough injury to come back from, but I got the right people in my corner. Um, I had all the support I could need, all, all the right information, and uh, we got close, but um, the tie line to come back this season just wasn't, um, you know, we probably weren't on the correct timeline to get back for, for the year, and past that, you know, there's still a high risk of coming back on this injury. One last thing. Is there any chance year, two, three years down the road that the NFL is still a possibility? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we talked about that. I talked about that with Coach Wilcox and all the guys. And um, after getting after getting the information and everything put in front of me, um, it just seems like the right time to walk away. You know, I've already I've had the knee surgery and I've had the back surgery and, you know, I'm only in college right now. So. Um, once I had all that information of what it looked like moving forward, what the timeline of rehab for the rest of my life looked like, um, it, it was a good time to it was a good time for me to step away from the game. So uh, with that being said, I'll, I'll be completely done to answer your question. Okay, we'll move on to Trace Travers from Rivals. 
Yeah, Mike, good to see you. Wish it was under better circumstances. Um, <laughs> That's right. That's right. Always hope you're doing well. Um, just what what do you feel like your next step is? I know you're working on the master's degree right now. Yeah, um, you know, I'm taking, I, I just got back home, back to Huntington Beach to take some time with my family and really get things sorted out. Thank God I went to Cal is all I can say in this medical retirement because it's a it's a really good spot to be in once you do medically retire and you have that uh, business degree. And, you know, I took a call from Bob Haas right after, you know, I made the announcement to him and that's a good spot to be in. And that that made it easier having all these Cal connections and um, the academics is no joke here. And I'm so blessed that I got to be part of it and got to get the degree and to move on and got all the support I, I could ever have. So um, the next steps are still a little unclear. Um, you know, I'll still be in school. So me and Coach Wilcox kind of hashing some stuff out, what we could do and um, professionally still trying to figure that out. Are you still planning on being around the team throughout this uh, upcoming season? That's kind of what we're trying to figure out right now. We're not sure how that's going to work. Uh, I won't be there for fall camp. That's, that's what I'll say. I'll, I'll be home and taking some time um, to let the, let the decision settle and let my emotions settle on this. And I guess, Tar how did your teammates take it when you told them? <clears throat> you know, this has been a tough injury and it's been a tough road of injuries for me. And, uh, you know, I've kind of, as much time as I've spent playing, I've spent behind the scenes rehabbing injuries to get back on the field. And, um, you know, I've been a warrior through all of them and, um, I'm not a guy that takes no, uh, as an easy answer, you know, and I'm, I assure, um, you guys and, and the teammates that I went everywhere to try to figure this out, went to everyone to try to rehab, went international to find doctors to talk to and to get this injury on track. And, um, once I got the people in my circle that I trusted, um, and everyone was surrounded by me, giving me the, the right information on it. Uh, it, it was the right decision and my team completely supported it because, you know, they've seen what I've gone through and they've seen how I've battled. And, um, you know, the great thing about our team is a lot of guys have done the same thing. Um, and we have a lot of guys that are making huge sacrifices to be out there, uh, every game. And, uh, we're going to have a pretty sweet team this year. I can, I can guarantee that. Fantastic. Thanks, Mike. Hey, uh, I go from the daily count. Hi, Mike. Just a couple questions for me. So I know you've had a lot of success both in the classroom and on the field. So how have you learned to maintain that balance throughout your time as a student athlete? I go, that was the best question that I've heard. That was awesome. Thank you so much. That was an incredible question. Um, uh, wow. Thank you for the question. Uh, I just, Cal is a really special place. And that's, that's kind of what I want to hammer on on this interview and, um, and what I was saying, everything on the retirement. Um, Cal is unbelievably special. It is the best place to be in the world. I'm sure you guys feel that. And I'm sure that that's why you guys love being around here. Um, the students and the campus is infectious. Um, and it, it is a fun, awesome place to be. And when you get in the classroom, uh, some of the minds in there are no joke. You know, um, I know talking to Carol Chris, you know, I gave her an interview for um, the reading challenge and whew, some of those things she was saying went right over my head. Um, she is a super genius, you know, and we got no shortage of that at Cal and it's tough to balance. Uh, it's really tough, but that's kind of the allure of coming here is if you want to be the best in school and you want to have division one sports and play for a program that's on the rise and about to win a ton of games, then Cal is the place to come to. And uh, that's what I got to be part of. I got to build the foundation of the football and I got to take advantage of the school and uh, you know, that fight to come back from in injuries uh, is the same fight that you bring into the classroom. It's the same fight that you bring onto the football field. And uh, hopefully with some of the alumni connections that I've made, it's the same fight I'll take into the workforce. That's great. I don't have any more questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, it looks like Jake Curtis has another question. Oh, actually, Jake said scratch your question. Jake, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. It's been answered. Okay. All right, you guys. We know, well, it looks like Trace has another question. Go ahead, Trace. Yeah, I can't let you leave this easily. Um, <laughs> you've talked in the spring, you talked about, I know this feels a bit weird to ask a football question on this, but you talked about Brian Driscoll playing center mm -hmm. behind you. Uh, who are some of those guys that you've seen kind of develop throughout these past couple of years behind you? And that made this process so much easier is having talented guys in the works and these recruiting classes coming in. I see some of the, sorry, I keep this light on. 
I see some of the old linemen and they're coming in with full beards and, you know, I came in, I was freshly shaven. I was small, you know, and uh, man, we got some, we got some good recruiting classes coming through, especially on the old line. And that's what made this decision so much easier is, you know, um, I'm sure they'll miss the leadership and the playing for me, but there will be no shortage of drop off on talent. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys see that with the people that we brought in and um, to name specific guys. I mean, Brian, oh my God, what a spring he had and how he's come along from Torrey Pines high school. You know, I, they were running the wing T or something like that over there. And uh, we had to teach him slide protection on the first day, you know, his mind was going berserk and Matt Sindrick. Oh my God. The guy gained 50 pounds his freshman year just to play. And so we got warriors on the line that are still going to be great. I mean, Val, Oh my God, I'm, I'm sorry to leave him to the retirement home first, but you know, he's an old man himself and uh, he's going to have a great year. And, you know, McCade and Ben Coleman and Jesus, Will Craig. I mean, come on, that guy's going to be so great. And I couldn't even believe it when I heard he's only played three games or something like that for us so far. Um, so he has an unbelievably bright future and he's going to do awesome. And I'm glad that I got to get in this room, um, with guys that I love, like Addy Ohms and Patrick McCarry, who took me under their wings and uh, showed me the ropes. And then I got to show the young guys the ropes. And um, that's kind of the way this game goes. Um, you know, everyone, everyone, everyone pays a price to play this game. Um, no one comes out of it unscathed. And some pay a little bit higher price to play. And I, you know, paid the price in full to play this game. And, uh, and I would never trade it for the entire world. I love football. I love Cal. If I had to do it all over again, I would do it. Um, and I'm so grateful that, you know, shoot, I get to have a press conference to go when I'm 22 years old. Uh, and that's a pretty good feeling um, moving forward in life. Gosh, you know, hopefully I can get back to this moment one day. Look forward to you being my boss in the future, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be working alongside you. All right, you guys, any final questions for Mike? All right, Mike, on a personal note, man, it's been fun. And I know we'll cross paths down the road pretty